video is going to go over decomposition reactions, mainly decomposition reactions with polyatomic ions. So real fast, just the basics. What is a decomposition reaction? It's a reaction that starts off with one reactant only. So one thing on the left side of the arrow, and they will make two products. There are two major types of decomposition reactions, ones without polyatomics and ones with polyatomic ions. So if your decomposition reaction starts off without a polyatomic ion in it, like this example, calcium nitride, um, it might help if maybe you write the formula first. So calcium is a plus two, nitrogen is a minus three, so that is Ca, 3 and 2. Looking at that, that's not a polyatomic ion. So when a decomposition reaction is not a polyatomic ion, all you do is you separate the elements. It's the opposite of a synthesis reaction. So calcium nitride becomes calcium plus nitrogen. And so to write those products, to write calcium by itself, it is Ca and then plus nitrogen is in. Now, you do need to stop and think about your diatomic elements. The diatomic elements, um, there's a saying, I got it from Tyler DeWitt to help you remember them, Hofbrinkle, hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine, bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, Hofbrinkle. When you have one of these elements, not bonded to anything else. Then they have a subscript of two. And only when they're not bonded to anything else do they have a subscript of two. Um, so over in this problem, nitrogen is a diatomic element and it is not bonded to anything else, so its subscript is two. Now, looking at this equation, this equation is not balanced because there's three calciums on the left, one on the right, so in front of this I need to write a three. And that would be the decomposition of calcium nitride. Or you might see an example like this, Al2O3. I do really think it helps to write the products in words, even if I don't give you the reactants in words. So I look at this, it's one reactant. So it's a decomposition reaction, and so we got to separate the elements. So that will form aluminum plus oxygen. And then to write your products out, aluminum is Al, and then plus O. Now oxygen is a diatomic element, and right here, oxygen is not bonded to anything else. So it is O2. Now, this equation is not balanced because I've got two aluminums on the left, one on the right, and then three oxygens and two. And it's really important to remember when you balance equations, so when you make the numbers on each side of the arrow even, that you can't add subscripts. Like, I can't come out of two right here because aluminum's not a diatomic element. Instead, you have to put the numbers in front. And actually, to balance this one, I could put a 2 in front of aluminum, but then the oxygens are still not balanced because i got 3 and 2. So I'm going to have to actually put a 2 here. That makes oxygen 6. So in front of this, I need to write a 3. And then aluminum now has 4 on this side, so a 4 right here. And that would be the balanced equation. But I wanted to mainly talk about polyatomics in this video. So the first polyatomic ion decomposition I want to go over is chlorates. Now you don't have to memorize your polyatomic ions. Chlorate is ClO3, the charge of negative one. But you do need to memorize what they decompose into. And chlorates will decompose into a metal chloride plus O2. And so what do I mean by a metal chloride? Let's say you see a problem sodium chlorate. Um, you would hopefully look at that and say, okay, chlorate, that's a polyatomic. I have memorized and I remember that it makes a metal chloride. Well, I'm not going to write the word metal chloride. Instead, I'm going to write what my metal is. So sodium chloride. So metal, you literally replace with whatever metal is in your compound. And then plus O2. 
and then I would write and balance this equation. Now sodium chlorate, sodium is a plus one, chlorate is a minus one, so that is NaClO3 arrow, sodium chloride. Chloride is not a polyatomic ion, it's not on your list, that is just sodium and chlorine. So plus one, minus one, that is NaCl plus O2. And then you need to balance this equation. Um, there's three oxygens on the left, two on the right, so we have to make that six. So in front of this, write a two, two, three. And that's the decomposition of sodium chlorate. So you might see it in words. You might not see it in words. And if you don't see it in words, it might help maybe to write it in words. So MgClO3, if I write that out, that is magnesium chlorate. And then you will see that you will remember chlorates decompose into a metal chloride. So I'm not going to write metal chloride. I'm going to write magnesium chloride plus O2. And then write your formula. It takes two seconds to write it in words, and I really think it helps. So this one's already written, but magnesium chloride. Again, that's not a polyatomic. That's just chlorine. So magnesium is a plus two, chlorine is a minus one, MgCl2 plus O2. And then I would need to balance this equation. Um, there's one magnesium on the left. This two goes to the what's inside the parentheses, so two chlorines. There are six oxygens, so in front of this I'm going to write a three. So chlorates, that's the first one you have to remember metal chloride and oxygen. The next polyatomic ion that you need to remember are hydroxides. Hydroxide, the formula is OH negative one. And hydroxides decompose into a metal oxide and water. Um, so it's gonna be the same thing as chlorate. You're not gonna write metal oxide. You're gonna write whatever metal is in your compound. So magnesium hydroxide, when I see that, I'm going to remember Okay, hydroxide makes a metal oxide, so magnesium oxide, and then plus water. And then from there, write your formula. Magnesium, you go to your periodic table, is a plus two. Hydroxide is OH negative one. So that becomes MgOH2. Arrow, magnesium oxide, check your polyatomic ion list oxides not on there. That is just magnesium, which is a two, and oxygen, which is also a two. So that becomes MgO, and then plus water. Now, looking at this, there's one magnesium here, one here. There are two oxygens on this side, but there's an oxygen here and an oxygen here, so that's two. And then there's two hydrogens on the right-hand side and on the left, so that's a balanced equation. But with, with the polyatomic ions, writing the words really, really helps, I think. Um, and then the bottom one, LiOH. When you see that, stop, write the words above it. If I give it to you in symbols, just write the words. That is lithium, and then you would go look at your polyatomic ion list, hydroxide. And when you see that, hopefully that will trigger in your brain, okay, hydroxide makes metal oxide. I'm not going to write metal oxide, I'm going to write lithium oxide plus water. Okay, now I've given you the formula for lithium hydroxide, so we just need to write the products. Lithium oxide. Lithium has a charge of plus one. Oxide, again, is just oxygen, so a charge of negative two. So that formula becomes Li2O, and then plus H2O. And so now I've got this equation, but this is not balanced because there are two lithiums on the left, uh, on the right, and one on the left. So in front of this, I'm gonna write a two. Remember, we balance equations by putting numbers in front. Don't ever add subscripts. Once you've written your equation, you put numbers in front to balance it. And that does actually balance this equation. Now there's two 
oxygens on each side, and two hydrogens and two lithiums. And the last polyatomic ion that you need to know are carbonates. Carbonate is CO3, the charge of negative 2. Carbonates decompose into a metal oxide plus CO2. So what I would do, same thing, we'll go through two examples again. Sodium carbonate. We don't write metal oxide. You're going to write sodium oxide. You replace that word metal with whatever metal there is, and then plus CO2. And so to write this out, sodium's a plus one, carbonate is CO3, negative two. So that becomes Na2CO3. And then sodium oxide, just like the hydroxides, that is sodium, Na plus one, and oxygen, O negative two, Na2O, and then plus CO2. And this equation is balanced. So carbonates, metal oxide, plus CO2. That word metal, you replace it with whatever metal is in your products. And I'm sorry, you just do have to memorize these. CaCO3, when I see that, I'm going to be like, okay, that's a polyatomic ion. So let me go ahead and write my words. That is Ca is calcium, and then go look at your list. CO3 is carbonate. Arrow. Um, and then I'm going to remember carbonates make a metal oxide, calcium oxide plus CO2. And then write this out. The reactants are already written. And I'll tell you this, if I give you reactants, they're written correct. Don't ever try to add a subscript, so like a small number, to a reactant. I'm going to write them right. And then your products, calcium oxide. Calcium is plus 2. Oxygen is negative 2. So that formula is CaO plus CO2. And that one is balanced. So there are three polyatomics that you need to know. Carbonates make a metal oxide in CO2. Hydroxides make a metal oxide in water. And chlorates make a metal chloride in oxygen. And you just need to sit down, make flashcards, memorize them. If you're given a reactant in symbol form, write the words. The words really help. Um, no one can memorize, or very few people can memorize without thinking about it in words. So it'll make your life easier. Write the words and then write your equation based off of that.